Well, the housing market in Colorado is still a roller coaster, and now people are concerned about recession uh, and, and what that means with the forecast, with it being revised uh, by economists as well. So our own expert is here. We're lucky to have our very own Lane Lyon, managing broker at Coldwell Banker. Good morning. Hello, good morning, and thanks for having me on. So what is the market right now? What's it looking like? Well, we're seeing and hearing a lot of concerns because there's a lot of news going mm -hmm. on, and there's a lot of changes happening, but it really is the tail of two housing markets this year, if you think about it. We got started at the beginning of the year. Remember, mm -hmm. we talked here about all of the intense buyer demand, urgency, multiple offers, buyer frustration, skyrocketing home appreciation. It was really tough out there. And then about face. Six months later, we're dealing with an, a pop-up of interest mm -hmm. rates. That's affecting some of what sellers are seeing out there. A lot of concerns. But I have to tell you what, we as realtors also see trends here in Colorado, a little bit more of a season factor and I think we have some of that going on. It's called June and July mm -hmm. and what happens in June and July? Well this year we've got the Avs going on. Yep. We've got vacations, graduations, we were just talking about one in your family and that has an impact on the housing market as well. So sellers are like where's the line of people coming to my house? The <laughs> right. news is not all bad. It's the summer. So yeah. what is what are the predictions now? How are analysts changing their forecast? Well in fact Redfin.com just came out this week. Their economists have said you know because of all of the changes we are actually going to revise some of what we expected. Mm -hmm. So take a look at this graphic here. First, home sales across the country are expected to slide just a little bit further than expected, with sales down overall 6.7% compared to last year, which Natasha was a record year anyway. Mm -hmm. So not a huge concern there. And you shouldn't be waiting for prices to come down because of all of this. Take a look at this. Across the country, the rate of appreciation is expected to be up 6.6% compared to last year. And that's actually higher than mm -hmm. they originally forecast. And then available homes for sale, what we call inventory, rising 15%, more houses on the market, original projections were less than 1%, and what that means is more opportunities for buyers. We talked about how people felt just burned out. Right. This is the chance for buyers to come back to the market. Yes, there's higher interest rates, and yes, you're going to pay a little bit more in your mortgage, but if you can swing it and not be priced out, uh, you've got more options out yeah. there, which is kind of nice. And so essentially what you're saying is don't reach for that panic button. I'll tell you what, the panic button is put away Okay. Uh, at this point, which is important to know. And some of these changes that we're seeing right now, very different than the conditions that led us into 08 and 09. And that mm -hmm. is what a lot of people are concerned about. Are we in for another great recession right. like we saw? So whenever we're talking about recessions, that tends to come up. But I'll tell you that economists from the housing industry are also taking a look at recessions historically. Mm -hmm. If we end up down that road, what happens to mortgage rates during a recession? And historically, mortgage rates have gone down. Okay. So that means if you're out looking for a home and you're having some sticker shock about the monthly payment, you may be able to refinance when uh -huh. rates go down. If that happens, we're keeping a close eye on it. Yeah, so it sounds like much better news. Um, Lane, always nice oh, to see Natasha, you. Oh, Natasha, thanks. It's still a good investment <laughs> real estate. Yeah, so hang I think on. So. Put the panic button away. All right, sounds good. Have a great day. Thank you.